Hey guys, it's Sebastian from Ask Sebi, and today we're going to talk about the check systems. So this is another credit reporting agency, similar to Equifax as well as the other big three, but instead of focusing on credit cards, they're focused on bank accounts. When you apply for a bank account, whether you're in branch or whether you're doing it online, they oftentimes go to checks because that's basically the system for them to make sure that you're a good customer. If you are curious about your checks accounts, there's a lot of different ways to request this. We'll put it in the blog post down below just because I don't really wanna to get too bogged down by that. The easiest way though is to just do it online. And again, the link is in the blog post. Unlike your credit score though, they really don't capture positive data. So when you look at your credit score, when you have repayments, you have average age of accounts, total accounts, those are all good things. With checks, they have inquiries which are neutral and then they capture the bad data. So what type of bad data are they looking for? So they're looking at check overdrafts, fraudulent check deposits, as well as unsatisfactory balances. If you do anything suspicious, that's also going to be reported. So structuring is a very easy example. In case you're wondering, structuring is when you modify your deposits in a way so that your transactions are under $10,000. For example, instead of depositing $11,000, depositing $9,000, and then afterwards, maybe a day later, depositing $2,000. As a side note, structuring is illegal and it's punishable by five years in prison, a fine, or both. They can also seize your money after getting a warrant, after getting a suspicious activities report by the banker, so just don't do it. Even if you only have one negative thing on your checks account, it's going to be very difficult to get any bank account opened. With that though, it also depends on whether the bank that you're looking to open an account with uses check systems and whether it's considered a minor offense or a major offense. Check systems, as well as your credit score, really punishes you for your mistakes, so you just need to make sure that you don't make any. This means that if your account is negative, do not close it, pay it off first before doing that, and just settle all your balances. Make sure you do not write any checks that can't be cashed, and also obviously don't do any fraudulent stuff or weird deposits. If you do pull up your check systems report and you realize that there's something weird about it, so maybe something that you didn't expect, you can actually go contest it if it is incorrect. This only really works if it's something that's invalid. If it is valid, then you effectively can do that, but then once they realize that it's valid, it's going to go back on your report. With negatives that are valid, you basically need to go to the source, so go to the bank and see what they would want in order to remove that negative. In many cases, it means paying off whatever you owe, and then also, again, paying any fees related to it. For example, if you had a bank account that had $100 negative, and then it got closed, paying off that $100. The final thing to be aware of is that even if you do have a perfect check systems report, that if you have too many inquiries, certain banks will not open accounts for you. Depending on the bank that you're looking to open at, this might mean that you open up six accounts this year, or maybe 12 accounts. And again, for the most part, this affects people who are kind of trying out different bank accounts and maybe getting bonuses. For most people, if you have between six to 10 inquiries, you're going to be fine. That's not really going to be an issue. If you have more than 12 or 13, that starts to become more problematic. Even then, once you hit 12 inquiries, I have heard of some people who got rejected online and basically they would not process it. But once they went in branch, it was fine again. I'm not sure if that required a manager approval or what happened, but again, something to consider if you do have a lot of inquiries. For the most part, I don't think most people need to worry about it unless you are getting a ton of accounts. So again, more than one every month. Even then, I think it's pretty hard to find enough accounts that are worthwhile to apply for every single month. So I hope that was helpful and let me know if you guys have any questions. My question for you guys is, did you know about check systems before this or not really? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And if you know anyone else who'd benefit from what we just talked about, feel free to share this video with them because it's probably going to help them out. But otherwise, hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time.